Hey everyone, it's Nikki Rowley, and in this video, I'm going to be sharing with you how you can begin editing your brand new Wix theme. Therefore, all of your customizations are in place and you're one step closer to going live with your website. Let's begin. The first thing that you want to ensure is that you have followed the instructions for getting your Wix theme transferred into your account. Please be aware that the themes are not digital downloads. They must be transferred, which they are within 24 to 48 hours. And if you need any help whatsoever with understanding this process, please go back to the listing of the purchase or you can go to YouTube and you can look under our technical support videos and you will see purchasing a Wix theme and you'll have an understanding of how to go through this process step by step via video. Once the theme has been transferred into the inside of your Wix account, you're now ready to get started. So the first thing is that if you have multiple websites in your Wix account, you will want to make sure that you are editing the correct site. One good way of doing this is when you log in, meaning when you go to Wix.com and you log in, you want to click right here at the top on all sites. And then in the middle of the screen, you want to ensure that you are selecting the correct site, which would be your brand new Wix theme. And so what we'll do right here is that you will click directly on select site. And this is the site that we're going to edit. Now there are two very important things to understand about your Wix website. The first thing is that there are features outside of your website and then you have the Wix editor and the editor is where you're going to make changes to your respective theme. Outside of your website, this is what is called your dashboard and everything in your dashboard is what is what relates to this specific website. So all of these features that you see here vertically are related to your website. And then also everything that you see here to the right where it says, welcome back to your dashboard. This is related to your site as well. But first, let us get acclimated with the dashboard. This is going to help you out a lot because once your website goes live, you'll be able to market your website going through your dashboard as well. If you can't find something, it also is a good idea to get acclimated with the menu. So therefore you can find it. Right here to the left, you have home, and this is where we are right here. The next thing you have is site and app. Your website, this is what you can click on to gain access to features for your site. You can also create a mobile application as well from the website you've created. You also have the ability to do a logo and branding, or you can contact us and we can make you something custom. And there's also hop which is a link in bio feature where you can have one URL with multiple URLs that people can gain access to. These are all representing CTAs or call to actions. To gain access to several of the different applications that you have installed in your website, these will be shown here to the left. Subscriptions and FAQs is what we have installed. But if you wanted to add in additional apps, you'd go right here to apps, you would go into the app market, you would add these features into your site and then seamlessly all of these applications will be accessed here. So if you did add in a blog or if you did add in a store, all of this could be accessed here in addition into your edit mode where you'll be able to edit your website. Here are your contacts. Anyone that has filled out any form on your website, they'll be listed here under contacts. You can also import contacts in. Communications, this is where you will find all of the form submissions right here under forms and submissions and also inbox. You'll also find the same for chat. Automations, anything that you want to set up in terms of making certain types of automations on your website. So if this happens, then that, this is where you will go. Marketing and SEO, SEO standing for search engine optimization, where you can optimize your website. This is where you'll be able to do this, going into your SEO settings understanding your email marketing this is where you can send out emails you can also integrate ads via facebook instagram and google you have your google business profile this is what you see when you're looking on the map on google you have social media marketing other marketing integrations and business cards as well analytics and reports this gives you access to traffic on your website and also additional reports as it relates to data on your websites billing and payments as well. So you have invoices, pay links and recurring invoices, 
All of your settings related to your website are located here. Applications, again, you can add in. CMS, which is a content management system if you wanted to have a database of data. And then you also have developer tools if you were interested in coding on your website as well. So this might have seemed a little bit overwhelming, but please be aware that this will give you better leverage in terms of being able to access features related to your website, especially once you have gone live. The next thing here is edit site. This is where we're going to jump right into the editor of your website and this is why you are here. It's so you understand how to make changes to your respective theme. Once you've clicked on it, you'll be taken into a screen that looks very similar to this and thus you will have to wait for it to load up. Do not be alarmed. It can take between 15 to 20 seconds to load up. The most important thing is that you do want to ensure that you are on stable internet speed because when you are in the editor, if you do have a slower speed, your editor will lag, meaning when you're making changes, you will not be able to do so seamlessly and you might notice that it's a lot harder to manipulate. Now that the editor has loaded up, it's time to get acclimated with a few features. The first thing is that when it comes to navigating from page to page, you want to click on page and right here you see your site pages. All of your site pages will show here. So this is the easiest way to go from page to page. You just click on whatever respective page you want to gain access to. The next thing right here, these are manage pages. To make changes to the settings, you click on the circle and here you will then click on settings. From here you can change the name of the page, you can hide it from the menu as well. You can also change the layout, meaning you can go from standard, which has a header and a footer commonly, to no header or footer. You can click on permissions, meaning everyone can see this page or only password holders or only members. Here are your SEO basics. So this is your search engine optimization. A lot of people have questions about this because once you go live with your site, your website will be shown in search engines like Google and Bing and your website will have a title for each page as well as a description and this is where you will edit this. The most important thing is that you are using keywords that individuals are searching for. Therefore, this increases the likelihood that your website shows up for the correct audience. Here is advanced SEO. So if you have an SEO specialist, this is where they will go to access that information. Social share, this is very important because when it comes to what shows up when you take your link and you share it on social media such as on Facebook or LinkedIn, you do want to ensure that you have a certain image as well as a certain title as well as description and this is where you will go. And then going back here to the circle, this is also where you can duplicate a page, you can copy a page if you of course do want to copy it. Again, this is where you hide it and you can also delete it as well. Deleting is very common with themes because you may say, I don't need this page and how do I get rid of it? Again, you go to pages, you go to manage pages and then you can go to the page and click on delete. So what we're gonna do now is bring that in. We will click on the X and now we are right back to where we started. Here is where you can undo your changes and redo them. When you save, this means that you are saving in a draft mode. So you're saving it. So if you wanted to take a break, you can come back to your site. Preview is how you preview your site without all of these toolbars. So you can see it as your clients or customers see it. And publish means that you're ready to go live with your respective website. Okay. So now let's get acclimated with how the themes are put together and they are put together using sections. So a section is a containerized section of your website. It's a lot easier to build your website this way because you have containerized portions of your content, therefore it's not overwhelming. And this also gives us the ability to have different designs, therefore your website is not boring, nor is it overwhelming in terms of people being able to digest content. The first thing is setting up your sections. So right here, this is an easy section. I click on it and then all I have to do is click on change strip background and I can add in a color, I can change the image and I can also change the video as well. One important feature here is that you can also create an AI image. What this means is that artificial intelligence is giving you the ability to identify something custom that it's going to create for you. So all you would do is that you would describe your image, you would type it in, you would create that image, and that image could then be used 
to replace this respective section here. And that is how you will go through section by section on all of your pages to make sure that you are changing those affiliated backgrounds. When it comes time to changing, let's say other sections, you can go forth and you can click on add section and then you can obviously make respective edits by first adding it in. Right here, you can add in a welcome section, about section, team section, contact and so forth. All you do is click on it and then it adds it in to your respective website. You can also add in a blank section as well and there's also AI generator again where artificial intelligence is giving you the ability to say hey what is it that you're wanting you enter in that section type you enter in that text and then you generate it. What happens then is that it's added into your website and then with that being said you can change the order of your sections to change the order you click on that section and right here you see an arrow and you can move the section up or you can move it down this is how you're changing the arrangement of how your sections are showing therefore this is how you change that overall order and this is what you can do for page to page once you have your sections situated the next thing is now you want to get into your site design. You can do this first or you can do it second after you identify the sections. But when you click on site design, this is where you are setting up your actual theme. Most importantly, you do want to make sure there's brand continuity, meaning when someone is on your website, you're consistent with your fonts and you're consistent with your colors and you also have a logo as well. This is so people know they are on your website. This is the home of your brand, so you do want to make sure there's consistency. The first thing here is you click on change theme and you can go forth and you can click on different options that are already configured or you have your respective site theme and this is what you already have selected in. To go back, all you have to do is click on color theme and this is where you can change your colors. All you do is click on the different colors and you can change your color theme. Here's where you can change your text, which is where you're changing your fonts. Going back here, you can change your overall page background. You don't have to do this if you have the actual sections with different backgrounds, but if you only have one background in terms of a color, you would change your page background here. And here is how you have page transitions. As you're going from page to page, you can do horizontal, vertical, crossfade, or out and in. And this is how you ensure that you have your branding all together for your respective website. The most important thing is that everything matches. Now we're ready to get into your elements. So these are the different types of things that you see on top of your section. So you have buttons, you have text, you have photos, all of these things are sitting on top. So the first thing is to edit it, all you have to do is click on it. And this is the easiest way to get used to the Wix editor. Click on it and see what it is. This says, okay, I can edit text. This says, okay, I can edit text. This here is button, so you have different features. And based off of what pops up, hover on it and see what it is. This is, again, the easiest thing to do. Click on it and get familiarized with it. So here it says change text, layout, design, animation, as well as your link. Being curious is what will help you in the Wix editor. Click on it, and then, of course, you can edit it. It's very, very simple. Sometimes we say, I thought it would be harder, but click on it and drill down, right? The most common thing first is your text. We click on it and it says edit text. When you edit text, this is where you can edit what it says. So then you can put in here something new, okay? And this is obviously where you'd put it in. You can backspace. All you're using is your keyboard and this is where you are identifying what it is that should show. When you click on a text block, you can also edit your font. You can change the size here, your color, bold, italicized, underline. You can also link to all of the words or one word and you have a few other options available to you as well. In terms of artificial intelligence, when you click on wording, you can click on create AI text. And this is where artificial intelligence is coming into play because it's saying, hey, what's your business type? What's the business name? Let me know if this is a title or a paragraph denote what it's about, and then it's going to create the text for you. The most important thing is that as it's creating it for you, please review it to make sure it's accurate as it aligns to your business. But this is artificial intelligence at your fingertips to where you can make those respective changes 
right here at the level of where AI is doing it for you with your guidance. Right here, same thing, more text. Here, same thing, more text. Right here is a button. You can click on it. You can change the text. You can also change the link in terms of where it goes. All you're doing as you scroll through is you're clicking on it to see what it is. Here is a strip. It says change strip background. You can manage columns. You can click right here on an image and you can click on change image as well. When you change image, you can upload something new. So when you click on change image in this area where this has already been designed, you can upload something from your laptop or desktop. You can select something from the site files you have, or you can scroll down and you can go to media from Wix to click on something that Wix has provided, or you can get something from Shutterstock or Unsplash and you can also use the AI image creator. You put in the description of what it is and then it will generate that image for you. And you can also see if you like that as well. So you kind of get the gist, gist here. You're scrolling through section by section and all you're doing is, is that you're clicking on it. Right here, this is vector art. Change basic shape, okay? So this is how you go through the process of making your respect, respective changes. Get acclimated with the elements, click on it, and then see what pops up and that is how you would go through. The most common things that you're gonna find are the sections, your photos, your text, and your buttons. If you can do the basics, this is how you're going to get to a closer to go live website because you're going through and then you're seeing what, of course, is editable and you're taking it from there. Right here, this is where you can add in more elements. You click on the plus, okay, and you can add in text, image, buttons, strips, which are, again, very similar to what you find in your sections, but this is giving you more containerized space on top of your sections. Decorative, so shapes and art, also video. You can add in boxes as well. So very similar to strips, except these are smaller areas. You can add in a gallery, more menus, contact and forms, which is very important, video and music, interactive, so slideshows and light boxes, which are pop-ups. You have your lists, you can embed code externally, social, which comes from social media, payments, if you wanted a pay now button or donation button, CMS, which is a content management system, if you wanted a collection or database of content, blog, this is an application that comes from Wix, store, another application that comes from Wix, bookings, events, community, which is where you have your members features, as well as my designs as well. So all of these things are gonna be accessible to you at your fingertips in terms of how you would like to expand upon your website by adding in these elements on top of your respective sections. So you design your section first and then you add the elements on top in addition to the elements that you already have edited as a part of your respective theme. Here, this is very important because this is where you're going to gain access to the Wix app market. I wanted to click on this quickly because as you guys are building out your website, you may say, I need more features. That's great. All you do is you put in the name of an application and you see what pops up. So if you wanted a gallery, you're going to see several options. Wix Pro Gallery comes from Wix. Wix Shared Gallery, same thing. But there are a lot of providers out here that are third party that give you more functionality. So definitely do not hesitate to add these things in. The most important thing is that you do want to be aware of the ratings and you also want to be aware of the price because some of these things, yes, do cost. But more importantly, you're gaining access to more features that will allow you to have a website that is giving you and your customers or clients what it is that you need. So definitely do not hesitate to go forth and add these things in. And then another thing here is that this is only the laptop version and desktop version of the website and also tablet as well. I like to say also tablet because as you guys are making changes to your site, you do want to make sure that you're testing your site on tablets to make sure it looks good there as well. So you might need to do some resizing to make sure that everything is formatting as it needs to. And then here, this is your mobile editor. You click on switch to mobile and this is where you're going to be able to see a condensed version of your website. Please be aware of the fact that your phone users are where you're also going to find commonly a lot of your traffic. So people coming into your site from phones. So you do want to make sure that your site looks good and it's just as user friendly. 
So hop over into the mobile edit mode and it's very similar to the tablet mode as well as laptop and desktop, that version we just looked at. More importantly, it is to be understood that you cannot do a lot here in terms of what it is that you're going to be able to add to mobile. Notice that you can only add in a few things. Not everything is available. You do want to add in what you want in that previous version, your tablet, desktop, laptop mode. And then for your mobile, this is where you're simply making changes for the mobile phones. And thus, once it's good to go, then you're good for your phone users. And that is how you make your changes everyone in a nutshell for your Wix theme. If you do need more help with editing your Wix theme, I would advise taking the Wix master course, which is the best selling Wix course on Udemy that is going to take you step by step in terms of how you can make overall changes to your website. This is very, very in depth. So for those of you all who are really wanting to get into a lot of the detail orientedness, of the elements, of the sections, of search engine optimization, this is the course for you. It is four hours, but at the end of this course, you will be a well-seasoned Wix editor as well as developer in alignment to what it is that you need in order to going live with your website a lot quicker. So please make sure that in the YouTube video, you go to the description and you click on this link to purchase the course. And then again, in four hours, you will be one step closer to going live with your website. And thus you'll be able to do the same thing for any website that you create once you have this knowledge of Wix. Thank you all so much for listening to this video, and I wish you all the best of luck in editing your brand new Wix theme.